<laughs> Good guys. On the buzzer, you're gonna start bridging and going to turtle. And try to make sure it's a protected turtle. That means that you are going to get to a turtle position and then pull your elbows into your hip bone, right? So you won't leave your elbows by your knees. You don't want to do that. It's not bad, but it's not as good as it could be, so. Good, all right guys, let's get 20 good sit-ups, 20 good push-ups, then grab some water please, and come back to the front of your screens. <laughs> Looks good, guys. Looks good. All right, guys, when you're done, grab some water if you need it. You believe it? I used all, all of my all of my donation, all my t-shirts, all my old compression shorts, my old sweat tops. I mean everything. Yeah. And I still have to fill up the, the arms. Holy crap. It's a lot of stuff. It's probably gonna be heavy stuff. Heavy done. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be even that heavy. It's not as big as the one you have. Uh -huh. It's not near as big as yours. That's okay, I'm shorter. It's all good. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back to 5-1 on the lesson plan today. So we have gone through this one several different times. I'd like to kind of go through it, uh, see what everybody remembers, um, and then if you guys remember it, then what I'd like to do is I would like to maybe show you guys a couple of bonus stuff today. Does that make sense? Right? Um, just to kind of go with it. But again, like I said, we're back to 5-1. So 5-1 was starting out of the knee shield, guys sitting up to take the back, hugging the back, shrugging, right? Most of you guys have seen that one. And then the sweep from underneath. Um, I think uh, Heather might be. Do you guys remember that uh, that that lesson? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Cole and Nana, I think you guys we've done that one a couple of times too in private classes. Yes. Yep. And then Maria, Elena, and Ash, have you guys seen that class before? I'm sorry, guys. I can't hear you. All right, sorry. <laughs> I don't believe so. No. Okay, so this will be new for you guys. All right, so fantastic. It, it's a fairly easy uh, class, and so it shouldn't be super, super difficult. Um, so we'll, um, we'll go through it really quick, and then just make sure that you guys have all the bits and the pieces, okay? So let me start off with some of the actual um, solo drills, just so you guys know where the solo drills, and then I'll show you how they actually work with a human, right? So you understand the connection that we're making between the, the uh, solo drills and then the, the partner drills. So ideally, guys, Here's what's happening, right? So I'm on the ground, right? And the idea is, is that I'm in a, uh, think of it like a turtle, right? So if I was on the ground like this, right? I would be like in a turtle. This is kind of a loose turtle. This is more of a protected turtle, right? But if I were to fall onto my side, right? It's like I'm in a turtle, but I'm not framed. Right here, my bottom leg would be hooking their leg. My hand would be on the far shoulder. The bottom hand would be on the uh, elbow controlling this. And then this knee would be on this shoulder. So. Shoulder, shoulder, elbow, hooking the knee, right? I want frames, I want to be connected to them, right? And so this first drill, guys, is very simple, right? All we did was we came to our uh, hand, from one sh shoulder came to the knee, I pushed it through, I set up onto my forearm, right? I'm leaning into my partner, 
and I'm hugging the back. A lot of the kids that have worked with me personally, you've heard me say this in the past, right? Uh, putting your ear kind of on their chest like you're listening to their heartbeat, right? And so that was the first part of the drill. And then the second part of the drill, guys, we started again from the same spot. We pushed through, we sat up, we hugged, and now what we were doing is we started to kind of post out, right? And so there's a couple of different ways you can do this, right? Depending on what kind of energy your partner's doing or giving you. And a lot of times it's just really easy to post your arm, flare your knee, right? And that's the second piece. Although every now and then there's some people that like to do the knee first and then the arm. I prefer the arm first just because it takes away the handle for the guy to grab and pull and flatten me back out, right? So again, we're right here, right? Hand goes to the knee. I sit all the way up. I hug. I post. I bring out. Now, we had two ways of getting rid of the arm that is going to be on our back. Right? There's usually two responses that the guy that I'm holding on to will give me. He will either not do anything, which is what I hope he does, or he's going to wizard. Now, if he doesn't do anything, I can literally just hold on to his back, scoop my bottom back, and then I push forward with my legs, lifting my elbow, and it tosses the guy's arm off of me, and then I just take the back. Very simple. The other option is... I'm here, I push through, I hug the back, and as I'm doing this, posting and coming up, they go like this, they wizard. They bring their arm and go right between our bodies, hooking my shoulder. Well, if they do that, now I can't do this. So now what we did is we brought our knee back under, we slid under and grabbed the far leg. Sometimes you can do it with great momentum and it just rolls them over. But a lot of times you get stuck here, right? So what did we do? We just hipped underneath, just like this. Now their body weight comes on top of me, and then I finish the sweep by actually kicking over here towards this leg. Just nice and simple, clear my leg, and I'm in a good side control position. So now, guys, we're going to do this really quick. Most of you guys, I think, have seen it. Hey, A1, how are you? So we're going to do this now, guys, um, yeah, really quick so you guys can kind of see this uh, kind of all come to fruition, okay? So I'm going to borrow my... Lovely assistant, Maxine. <laughs> there you go. So we're right here, guys. We're again, we're in this position, right? I'm setting up my frame, right? So I'm here, I'm framed, and I'm framed here. I'm gonna push through, I'm hugging, right? Now, as soon as I hug, I post, I can come out. If there's nothing here, guys, this is the one detail we've talked about a lot too. My shoulder's a little bit out of where it should be. If I, my shoulder's not in his armpit, then look, I just scoot it like this, that's it. And now it's shrugged, and now I have him. But if my scene puts the wizard in before I can do any of that, now I have a problem because now it doesn't work. I can't get my shoulder in the right spot. My knee is going to duck back in. I'm going to hug, right? Oh, by the way, guys, this is important, right? Try to hug, hold on, and come back really quick. Sometimes with momentum, you can just squeeze your elbow to your body and Maxine's arm gets stuck there. But sometimes it doesn't, guys, right? So you're going to need to release grab his arm, his wrist, his hand, doesn't matter. Grab, then he comes in, and then I grab the leg. Now, you notice, guys, I can't really sweep him from here, so I have to slide under him. Now I have his momentum. Now I kick this way, and then I just clear my leg. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, no, maybe so? Mm. Can you do it one more time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%, with or without the body? Uh, with with the body. All right, let me put this on a larger screen. Hopefully that'll help you guys see better. All right, so let's check it out. I'll show you guys both options. So from here, guys, again, I have my frames. Look, our shoulder right above the elbow, kind of wrapping the tricep, hooking with the bottom leg, near side knee, top shoulder. I'm here. And leaves, push through, hug. Post, lift, get my shoulder underneath his armpit. If he does not wizard, easy. I just shrug it off and I have it. If he does wizard, I try, I try, doesn't work, grab, knee comes under, I hug. If I can't generate the momentum here, I just scooch underneath him. When I scooch under, that's what gives me the angle and momentum I need to finish the sweep. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Let's give it a go, guys. Ready? One, two, three. And cheers, guys. Have fun. Or as my old instructor used to say, struggle 
struggle. <laughs> Get over there, so we take this, we're gonna flick, so. Oh, okay. Okay, so this one you hooked. This one goes, no, I don't want to go. I don't either. Okay, so. Oh, wait, I have to. Yep, so you're gonna sit up, yes, and hug mom's back just like so. Very good. So ideally, your arm ash is underneath mom's arm right now. Wait, On the near right? side, yes. Okay. Yes, right there. Right now, if you sit up to this point, now you're gonna post your right hand. Go ahead and post up onto your right hand. Yep, move your uh, right knee out just a little bit, but don't take it out completely. Ah, you see how it naturally pops it off? Yes. That's exactly what you want, right? Now, let's go back a half step, Ash, and let's see what happens when mom puts the whizzer in. That's where the, the change really is different, okay? So if she gets there on the whizzer, right, now you're gonna have to trap the arm, so your left hand is gonna have to come in, pinch her arm to you, right? No, between your bodies. Just, yeah, so so you're gonna have to come almost like you're trying to hold her own hand. Wait. Yep, yep, just what you were doing there. Yes, perfect. That'll work for now. Good. <laughs> Slide your knee in, hug her far leg. Wait, which knee? Your right knee needs to go in as deep as it can and then shoot under with your right arm. Hug her leg, hug her leg, hug her leg. Nope, not her arm, her, her leg. Your oh, right, right arm needs to be, yes. And now when you scoot a little bit, you should be able to rock her over. Boom, good job. That's it. Right. Maria, your turn. Okay. So, one, trap. Turtle. Turtle so first, yeah, we're gonna go to that kind of turtle on your side kind of a thing, we're gonna frame. Your left hand is gonna go on your shoulder, right hand is on that elbow, left knee is up on the near side shoulder. Your left knee is on the near side shoulder. Here. Yes, good. Okay. Now you're gonna take your left hand, put it on your left knee, sit and hug his back. Yes, very nice, good. Now post up onto your right hand, onto your uh, right knee, and then shrug his arm off your body. Shrug hard, there you go, good. And then you would take his back, perfect. But nine times out of 10, Maria Elena, nine times out of 10, he's gonna wizard you. Does that make sense? Yeah, so yeah. When, when he wizards you, now you have to stop hugging the back, hold his arm, Put your knee back in, hug his far leg, scoot and roll. Good, now the, the, the only detail that you left out was the hugging of the leg. So as you get more comfortable with it, just try to remember to add that, yes. Other than that, look pretty good. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go check everybody else out really quick. I'm gonna go to A1 really quick. A1. Let's try again. Let's see it, little lady. Hold on a second, A1, I see some plants on your futon. What kind of plants are those? I can't hear you, baby girl. They're cactuses. Oh, cactuses. Are you good with uh, plants like that? Yeah. Okay, I then you're, you're gonna have to help me then because I have some aloes that I'm not doing very well with. I'll oh, have to I send you a message later because I'm struggling with these aloes. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> All right, anyway, sorry, baby. <laughs> Show me your stuff, girl. Show me your jujitsu stuff. Very good. Very good, Anna. I like it. All right, I'm going to head over to A2 and Cole. Let's go. Who's going to demonstrate first, guys? You guys should be pros at this. All right. Ladies first, Cole. Ladies first. I love the way you just shoved your sister out of the way. That's hilarious. Nice. Yep. Set up those frames. Good. Push through. Yes. Very nice. If he doesn't wizard. No, don't wizard on the first one. On the first one, don't wizard. Just let her have the easy one. Yep. Let her do the easy one first. Go ahead. Oh, wait, we're, in, we're not on mute. Good, nice, good. Now, do the same thing, let him whizzer, and then you're going to sweep him. Yeah, of course, baby girl. You could always take his back and then strangle him, for sure. Good, here we go. We're going to get that sweep now. Boom, right into the couch. I love it. Anna's hardcore, people. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, look like Cole was going for a guillotine. <laughs> All right, Cole, your turn, buddy. Let's see what you got. All right, let's see it, Cole. Yep, get that knee up on her shoulder. Push through, sit up, nice. Good, she doesn't whizzer, so you shrug and take the back. Boom, nice, there it is. Yep, and then, yep, you could climb up and strangle her, very nice. This time she's gonna whizzer, and you are going to sweep her. Whizzer, nice. Trap the arm, duck under, and let's get it. Shazam, nice sweep, kid. That was very nice, guys. Good job. All right, we're gonna go over to Heather and Mighty, the two craziest sisters in Denver. There it is, Mighty. Yes, Mighty, beautiful. All right, do the other one, Mighty. Do the other one now. Sweeper, go Mighty, go. Uh, oh, I know. Heather's had too many tacos, huh? Look at her. Oh, man. Mighty's laughing. She's like, yep, my sister eats too many tacos. That's okay. It's Heather's turn. Nice. There he goes. Boom. Very good, ladies. Very good. Very good. All right, guys. So let's do this really quick. Let me have everybody's attention again for just a little bit. So um, first, I'm going to start with Maria Elena and Ash first because they're the ones that were newer to seeing this technique, guys. So Maria Elena, Ash, do you guys have any, any questions that, that kind of stand out for you guys on this? No, I, I can't hear you guys, just so you know. Thank you. Um, so when I'm... When I'm here, uh -huh. I'm posted here. I hold here. Am I am my elbow posted down before I hop up? Um, you don't need to. You don't need to. But if you it, ideally, it's not necessary. Ideally, uh, but it depends, obviously, because there 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 will be some slight nuances, right? So it depends on how your partner's playing you. Um, so for example, if, if Coach Mike Seam right now was giving me a ton of topside pressure. I would, I would wait a little bit, you know, there's, there's a better time to go, right? If he gets tired of trying to pass and he can't pass, he might sit a second. When I feel his weight shift back, there's less pressure on me, then I can shoot. Does that make sense? And, right? and where is my left, my right foot supposed to be? I'm so sure. your right foot is just going to be hooking his leg and holding on to it. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay, so. And it can, it can slide and adjust a little bit, Maria. You just don't want to take it out, especially once you come up and start posting. Just don't take it out. That's the mistake that some of the kids were making over the last few weeks. Okay, so and then I. Yep, sit up. Under. Yep, nice. So when I go down, when he does the wizard. Uh huh. When I go down, I'm supposed to post. Yeah, because you're. Yes, yeah. good. Keep going, keep going. This is good. Good. So the only thing, Maria, that you have to be careful of is the um, the trapping of his arm, right? So if you don't trap the arm between you now, let like for example, I don't know if you watched Cole. Do, actually, let's do this. Let me have Cole demonstrate this because Cole, watch really quick, guys. I'm gonna have uh, Anna and Cole show you guys this. So Maria Elena asked, check this out, right? So Cole is really good at diving underneath, mainly because he's a little bit smaller than his sister. But watch how he dives under for this this thing. So Cole, will you demonstrate with your sister, please? The, the second option. Do we go head first or feet first? Uh, uh, let's have that head towards the camera, please. Yeah, and that, that will make it easier for everybody to see. Okay, so Maria Elena Cole is the young man in the, in the, in the yellow, obviously, right? So he's going to sit up, right? He's going to do this whole thing, right? Now, sister's going to whiz her. So check this out, right? See how he's holding on to his sister's kind of arm and hand there? Yeah. That would be perfect. If you could do it like that, that would be perfect. Does that make sense? Now, one thing that Cole's really, really good at is the dive under. Does that make sense? And so scoot back a little bit, guys, so you don't roll into your cameras or anything. So one thing that he does really well is when he dives, he dives, right? So go ahead, Cole. Do it. Boom. He just goes for it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? So the thing – thank you, guys. 
Maria, the, the reason I wanted to show you that is because he's very committed to his role. And because he's very committed to his role, sometimes he doesn't even need to hold on to the hand, right? So you can get away with not holding on to it. It's just riskier. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like when Cole gets when Cole gets bigger and he starts going up against, you know, blue belts and purple belts and brown belts and stuff like that, he's probably going to want to take those precautions, right? With like a white belt, you know, honestly, I probably wouldn't worry about it so much just being playful, right? But I'm not going to try that on Maxime. If I catch Maxime with that, Maxime was not paying attention. <laughs> Does that make sense? Right? He just wasn't, right? But, um, but so it's better, right? I, I just, I just, it's better if you can hold on to the arm, but it's not completely wrong if, if you, you know, what I don't, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want you to commit to the roll, get the sweep, and then go, oh, darn, I did it wrong because I didn't hold on to the hand. The overall goal is to get the sweep. There's just better ways of doing it, okay? So if you can hold on to that arm, that's going to be best for you in the long run, okay? okay. And, and it's also, it'll also be part of your testing requirements. So those, those will be things that will be important, right? Because those will be the little things that when you get tested later on by my senior or myself, you know, we'll look at it and go, okay, she did really well, but she forgot this important piece. Does that make sense? It's one of the yes. things that distinguishes CTA jiu-jitsu from a lot of other people's jiu-jitsu. Okay. okay. Good. All right. So, kids, very, very good there. So, I want to show you guys kind of a, a little workaround. You guys have been doing a really good job with all of this this month, and so I want to show you a little bit of a workaround. Sometimes this works, especially in nogi. Um, I have a lot of friends that do jiu-jitsu around the world and stuff, and, and there's, a, there's a, a move that's called the limp arm, and they, you see it in wrestling as well. Right, where you just basically shrug the shoulder and you just let the arm go very limp and you can pull out to take the back. It's a really super cool move. It's really fast. Um, if you've wrestled before, you've probably already seen this, right? But if, you, if you've never wrestled before, I'm going to show you how you can take the back from a slightly different perspective. Does that make sense? Right? And it's going to be off the wizard. So let me put me back on speaker view so you guys can see a little bit better. Oops, I've got Cole somewhere on there as the speaker. I, can't, I got to fix that. I can't have Cole's face up on there. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so check this out, guys. So we're gonna be back here. My team's gonna be with me. Yeah, this is probably good enough right here. All right, guys, so check this out. So we're gonna be right here at this position, right? Everything's gonna be exactly the same, right? I push through, I surface it up, he wizards me, right? The second he wizards me, like I said, I can't do the other. Maybe I'm not comfortable going underneath, right? And that could be a lot of reasons for that. Maybe he's got a super wide base. Maybe I know he wrestled a lot. I don't want to take a chance on getting stuck underneath him. So look what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to push a little bit into him. Nine times out of ten, people will push back. When he pushes back, I'm going to let my shoulder go and just whip my arm out. Does that make sense? So without a partner, hold on a second, guys. Sorry, I think that's my phone. <laughs> Bad, bad coach results. All right, guys. So what it's going to look like is this, right? I push, I sit up, I hug the body, I post, I do this, but he wizards. So now I don't want to dive under. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to push into him. I'm leaning into my partner a little bit. When they lean back towards me, I'm just going to dip my shoulder. Look, I'm going to relax my arm and then just whip it up, right, to take the back. It's a very quick movement, guys. It's kind of fun, kind of easy, right? Um, it's not the most technical move, but it does work, and it does have uh, a spot in your jujitsu game from time to time. So, especially if you have that hard, aggressive wrestler that's just, you know, trying to push you and shove you and work you really hard, it's a nice little move to try. So, do me a favor, guys, really quick. Let's play with that. It's called the limp arm. It's a variation on how to clear the arm and take the back. Okay, let's do this. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go, guys. Okay, walk me through it. We're doing the same thing. Three minutes, guys. I'm going to start with A1. Let's go A1. Now I got to do the. Mm -hmm. And here, a wizard. Okay. And then I wizard. So now you are going to push into me. Nice, young lady. Good. We come up. And then you shove yep. me up. Yes. Yay. So whip the arm out. Yup. <laughs> good job, young lady. Very good. Very good. My gosh, Anna, you've got a great mind. I swear to goodness. It's very well done. Yeah, All right. I'm going to go to Heather Mighty now. Push me. Push you. I push you. Let me stretch. All right. <laughs> Boom. Yup. Push. Whip the arm out. Boom. Yup. There you go. Very good. Let's see Mighty do it. Push the leg. 
Go back. Okay. Your arm comes here and throws your leg. See how much easier that was? Wizard, yes. <laughs> Can I you wizard? No, no, you go. And now I push you. You push me. I'm struck. <laughs> and take your back. <laughs> Not bad, Mighty. Sissy's arms are just a little bit longer than what, <laughs> than most of the guys you're going to go up against, but not bad. Not bad at all. All right, I'm going to move over to, I think, Anna and Cole. So go ahead and limp arm, buddy. Wizard? Yes, good. And then take that back right there. Very nice. Good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Let's see A2 do it. And then you first. Oh, sweet dog. Let me take care of the dog. Come okay, on. sounds good. I'll come right back to you guys. I'm going to go to Maria Elena then first. I'll be right back for you. Hey, two. All right, Maria Elena, Ash, your turn. One, two, three. Boom. So you sit up. Yep, good. He wizards you, right? You're still going to come up to your knee, though. You want to come up to your knee, right? So before you do it, go back. Let's do that one more time, Maria Elena. You want to come up to the knee, right? The 10th right. Planet guys call this the dog fight position. Okay, so two, three. I still remember their terminology. Good. Okay. There you go. So push into him when he pushes back, use that momentum. Boom. There you go. Perfect. And if you can get him to flat now, even better. Let's see Ash do it. Now, you get you, you get you. No, push, 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 push. <laughs> Don't crush your mother, man. Yeah. I'm abused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back over to Anna and Cole. I still haven't seen Anna. And I'm going to put the dog back again. Oh, she's still not back? Oh, there she is. All right. All right, Anna, your turn. Show me. Good, now make sure to wizard, Cole, wizard. That's okay, guys. Just do the best you can with your wonderful puppy. <laughs> oh, he loves you. That's okay, Anna, we're, we're working with each other tomorrow. You can show me tomorrow, honey. It looks like your dog is just a uh, jujitsu dog. He just wants to be in the picture. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys, that is it for today. You guys got a bonus technique, guys. The bonus technique is called the limp arm in addition to what you guys have. Now, some of you guys have been able to work with me privately one-on-one, -on -one, uh, and so we looked at some other stuff. Cole and Anna uh, Johnson were able to work with me on some things, and they have uh, added the complete back take to the strangulation, and then from the sweep, they were doing a knee on belly, two mount, and arm bars. Uh, Americana is the whole nine yards. So there's a lot of different ways you can finish it. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and stand up so we can bow out. Yeah. All right, guys, feet together, hands at your side, and bow, guys. Guys, good work. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Bye bye. Have a good day. You too, sweet.